Hi and welcome! I will show you today how you can choose colors in a reference photo for your animal portrait. I do this with my feelings, so I, most of the times I choose a mid-tone first and then go in with darker colors and go over with lighter colors. So change a lot between dark colors and light colors. This is a Lynx portrait. My students in my membership Animal Art Club can draw this. They have the lessons in there. And this is the reference photo for the Lynx. And I now show you or explain to you what colors I would choose. I take the tip of the candles as a base. Most times I draw in my lessons with the pastel pencils from Father Castell. So I just tell you some numbers I would choose. When we hear start with the eyes, eyes are always the most important things in my animal portraits. I love to bring uh, the animal to life on paper and I always start with the eyes. I see here beautiful oranges, yellows in their ochre colors. So here I would start with a base layer, let's say with an ochre, like 185 Naples yellow, so a middle yellow ochre color, or 183 of the light yellow ochre, for example, add a little bit of 187 burnt ochre here uh, at the edges and go in with browns and with the Bista 179, for example. So start with a mid-tone, a yellow ochre, go in with browns and some so ochre browns like Bista or Amber or brown ochre. Here the highlight I would start with the white and add a bit of light blue, for example. And of course draw all the black areas with black, with a very deep dark black. You can also bring in a bit of grey here in the highlights. The same let's do on the other eye here. And when it comes to drawing the fur, so um, here I then will work on the ears and choose here black for the blackest areas, black for this uh, tufts here, these sponges of the hairs, of course, on the top of the ears. Then I would start here with the clumps with an ivory or a light flesh color. So I would start with an ivory, a light cream color, like 103 ivory out of the pits. And here I would plot in a layer with burnt ochre, 187, and then go over with lighter colors. And also go in between with the shadows with darks like black and brown. Bringing your brown hairs between and add ivory and white hairs over it. So I always start with a mid-tone or most of the times. Here in the middle, I would sketch in these darker stripes with a black and then plot in here an ochre color, perhaps raw amber or brown ochre, and then go in with dark browns and blacks for the shadow areas, and then draw layers over it with beige red, so with the light flesh color, or with ivory and white. The nose I would start here with a mid-tone mid of a skin color and then go in with carpet mortum, go in with 132 beige red for example or cinnamon, so a, a range of skin colors and also browns. And here on top of the nose, I would do the base layer with burnt ochre and orangey brown. And here between with burnt sienna, the, the middle brown, and add ochres, add black browns, add then highlights with lighter colors like burnt, uh, like a beige red, light flesh, cream, ivory, and so on. The chin I would do with ivory, also here are the, the muscles, 
Here uh, I would draw the black dots where the whiskers are growing out with black and add a bit of orange brown around. Here the black in the mouth and the chin as mentioned before with ivory. Then I would add shadow here below with darker colors, plot in ochres, plot in vista, plot in raw amber, and also here the black stripes, of course, and then draw fine ivory hairs like flesh. So a light skin color and uh, bring in all the different colors in white fur. You know, white fur is never white. So bring in ochres and all the colors here and then add lighter strokes on top. And here I would choose for the base layer um, ivory and mix in also grays and skin colors here. And here for the body, I would choose raw amber and burnt ochre. So a, a, an ochre color and an orangey brown color as a base layer. Go in with the darks and then add highlights with light flesh color or skin color or ivory and white. Bring in different ochres and on the darks always with black or dark sepia, so a dark brown or um, yeah, other dark brown tones. So this is the way I choose uh, my colors out of a reference photo. Always go in with the mid-tone, this is the base layer, and then go in with darks for the shadow, add highlights, lighter strokes with lighter colors, go back with darks, increase the depth and the contrast, bringing darks, another layer with lighter colors. Always, it's really important to, to uh, Draw in lots of layers to bring in darks, let lights overlap, bring in again darks between and another layer with lights. So I hope this short video is helpful for you, how to choose or pick up colors, matching colors out of a reference photo. This is a lesson in our Drawing Membership Animal Art Club. My students can draw this. Uh, this there you can find a step-by-step -step video i record everything step by step explain every detail i make join the waitlist in the link below if you're interested the doors are closed at the moment but uh, we open three times a year and if you are on the early bird list then perhaps uh, you become informed very very quickly and sooner I hope you have enjoyed this drawing video and I hope I see you soon in the next video. Have a great time. Bye.